Child stunting is a phenomena where children are too short for their age. And it really matters because it's one of the leading indicators of malnutrition uh, that's used in the Sustainable Development Goals to track progress uh, around the world. At a recent conference at the LSE, we brought together some researchers to talk about how their research was helping us understand stunting around the world today. Well, about 10 years ago, uh, there was some very important research showing that most stunting started at birth and then it really accelerated up until about 24 months of age, about two years of age, and then kind of stabilized after that. Uh, so what we're trying to do in our research is look at that relationship, this stunting by age relationship, and see how it's changed over time uh, in different parts of the world. And so we show that in South Asia and some parts of Africa, a lot of the improvement just seems to be happening at birth. In other words, happening with better nutrition for the mothers when they're pregnant. And then in a few other countries, um, most of the change is happening from about six months when child, children start getting solid foods up until about 24 months. And in some countries, they're having stunting reductions in some part of that age bracket and actually uh, worse um, conditions in other parts of the age bracket. So it's sort of a complex puzzle. So stunting and growth bouldering have been studied in developing countries uh, in the last uh, couple of decades, but no one has looked at it historically. Uh, my research using a data set of 14,000 children in America uh, from 1918, which is the first sort of large scale information on preschool children's heights, shows that uh, growth bouldering in a similar way to what exists in developing countries today existed 100 years ago in the United States. So this hasn't changed. The level of stunting, though, was pretty low compared to developing countries today. Uh, so U.S. children were pretty robust. Uh, they averaged one standard deviation uh, under the World Health Organization standards uh, a century ago. The good news here is that growth bouldering is a challenge we've dealt with before. Uh, the bad news is that it took several generations uh, for it to be reduced to a very low level, which is what we see in the US today, where stunting is about 2% of the preschool population. I think the key point that I, I wish to make about uh, stunting is uh, we are all thinking what works. And I think uh, the time has now come to really focus on the difficult and the more structural and uh, issues that needs to be tackled. And just to give you a very quick example, when kids came from adopted kids, kids who were adopted uh, in Sweden from India um, and brought to Sweden and in the next two, and some of them were stunted kids, in two years, nobody was stunted. So it tells you what was different about Sweden compared to India? Well, the social environment. Uh, and in general, the standard of living conditions. I think it's time to tackle that head on.